Hello and welcome back to you in today's third video. We're doing the ECMWF and Metro France seasonal model update for today's uh, third video. But we're at the Copernicus website and uh, we're going to be having a look at the ECM, the DWD and also Metro France long range season models. They're going to take us through the rest of the spring and into the summer. So I'll get on that for you very shortly just to say that the two videos released so far today, uh, both of them are on the homepage. We've got our latest batch of summer analogues and so Cubio special, so having a look at the quasi being oscillation, see what that could mean for the summer. That video will be placed on the summer updates page later on this, this evening, and there'll be a written summary goes with that as well. Um, and also, Gazzo is setting round, of course, is on the homepage as usual. So have a look at those two videos and uh, see uh, what they have to say when you're done with this one, of course. Right, so we're going to have a look at the uh, mean seal of pressure anomalies from Metro France, uh, first of all, for the uh, next few uh, months. These are broken down into tri-monthly periods. So we're beginning with uh, the first tri-monthly period, which is uh, April, May and June. Uh, and this is what uh, we see with the mean sea level pressure anomaly from Metro France on April, May, June. The coming trimethyl period has below average uh, pressure, low pressure up to the north with high pressure over to the east and to the northeast. A bit of a ridge in the middle of the North Atlantic as well. So this looks like a rather westerly setup, actually. I would suspect this is bringing in westerly winds uh, as we go through the remainder of the spring and into the early part of the summer. The next tri-monthly period, taking us through May, June, July, uh, is looking like that. So uh, not a lot to go on, really. Some below average heights through the Mediterranean. Otherwise, I think we just have uh, a big area where it doesn't look like very much is happening. But obviously something must be happening in that uh, area. So that looks like a rather bizarre sort of mean sea level pressure anomaly uh, there. And then we go through to um, the actual tri-monthly period for the summer. This is June, July, August, summer. 2019 uh, looks quite unsettled actually for Europe. It has an area of below average pressure, low pressure really, covering many central parts of Europe. No real signal for high pressure, maybe a slight ridge in the Atlantic just there. So possibly quite an unsettled summer there being forecast by uh, Metro France. Uh, June, July, August uh, means, means zero pressure anomalies do look uh, quite unsettled. Temperature anomalies with Metro France for April, May, June are coming out uh, much warmer than average in most parts of uh, Europe and the UK is including that as well. Half a degree to one degree above average quite widely across uh, many parts of uh, Europe too. The uh, next tri-monthly period for uh, May, June, July also looks uh, quite warm across many parts of Europe. Again, we see temperature anomalies are somewhere between around half a degree to one degree above average, which is southern and southeastern Europe is coming at around two degrees above average. And then the tri-monthly period for the summer in terms of the temperature anomaly from uh, Metro France, that also forecasts to be warmer than average. So really warm temperatures in the next few months uh, if Metro France is correct here. Precipitation anomalies uh, from Metro France for April, May, June. Um, again, not a huge amount to go on, just a little bit drier than average down to our south, a little bit wetter than average, if anything, up to uh, the north. Most parts of Europe coming out with close to average uh, precipitation anomalies. The next trimonthly period just looks uh, very weak indeed. Again, not much to go on most parts of Europe, uh, close to average or actually possibly uh, no signal, uh, so very weak um, signals for precipitation. And then for the summer itself, June, July, August, again, very, very weak signals indeed. A little bit wetter than average around Greenland and Iceland, a little bit drier than average in the North Atlantic. Otherwise, most parts of Europe and the UK is included in this. Again, just no signal for precipitation. So very, very weak signals for precipitation. Temperature-wise, looks um, quite warm through the next few months, particularly as you go into the summer. 
And as far as the pressure pack is concerned, though, it does look as though it's going a little bit more unsettled as we go into the summer. So rather a strange update there from Metro France. This is the ECM WF. So again, mean sea level pressure anomalies from ECM WF. Uh, again, we're starting with uh, April, May, June. Tri-monthly period, becoming tri-monthly period, has uh, high pressure over Scandinavia. So a much more anti-cyclonic signal here uh, from the ECM doing air compared to Metro France. This will be bringing in east to southeasterly uh, winds. You would expect to have quite a bit of dry weather with that uh, as well. The uh, next tri-monthly period for uh, May, June and July, we still have that area of high pressure just to our northeast. So again, a little bit on the uh, settled side, uh, if anything. But the high pressure is weaker by the look of it uh, compared to the first time of period. So this is a signal for a weakening area of high pressure to be sitting to our east and to our northeast. And then we go through to the summer and we see a further strengthening of that high pressure signal. So quite anticyclonic really with ECMWF going through the spring into the summer. Got an area of high pressure sitting just to our north, northeast. Again, this will be bringing quite a lot of the easterly winds. You expect quite a warm, maybe even quite a hot and fairly dry summer uh, with that. ECM do you have temperature anomalies are looking like this. So again, we're starting with April, May, June. Most parts of uh, Northern Europe coming out milder than average around uh, one, a half a degree to one degree above average quite widely across many parts of Europe. Probably not quite as mild as uh, the Metro France bottle is showing. But nevertheless, moving through to May, June, July, still looking rather above average with those temperature anomalies. So a pretty warm sort of uh, rest of spring and early summer to come and then this takes us into the fall summer itself june july august again is focused to be rather above average with those temperature anomalies not as warm though with ecm as compared to metro france but still above average by around half a degree or so to one degree above average Precipitation wise is how things are looking. Again, April, May, June, tri monthly period, very weak signals for precipitation. Uh, but we see here for the UK and for Ireland, it's possibly just a little bit on the dry of an average side, if anything. But uh, really, I think overall the signal is very weak. And that goes on into uh, the next tri monthly period of two for uh, May, June, and July. Again, no real signal for this tri monthly period. And then finally, we go through to June, July, August, the summer. Very weak signals again. Maybe going a little bit wetter than average to the south of us. So possibly hinting at some thundery type conditions uh, through parts of France and the Mediterranean. But for the UK and much of Northern Europe, again, very, very little signal to go on. Just no real signal uh, at work there. And then finally, we've got the uh, DWD. So these are mean sea level pressure anomalies from the DWD uh, for the um, next few trimonthly periods, starting off with April, May, June, first of all. So this time we see high pressure reaching from the Atlantic into the UK and into many central parts of Europe. Low pressure is up here. The jet stream is pushed up there as well. So that's rather westerly, but with high pressure ridging in from the Atlantic into the UK and Western Europe, you would expect a reasonable amount of dry and mild weather uh, with that. We go through to the next tri-monthly period. This one going from uh, May, uh, going from May, June and July. Again, we have this area of above average heights, kind of like over and to the west of us. The jet stream would be up there. So we're still on the mild side of the jet stream. A bit of low pressure down across Spain and Portugal. It's possibly beginning to get a little bit more unsettled there as high pressure is weakening a bit. But overall, still a lot of high pressure influences. Uh, and then we go through to the final trimonthly period, which is for June, July, August. And again, quite anti cyclonic. So this update is suggesting quite a lot of high pressure to be around the UK this summer, which, if it's true, if it holds true, could bring a reasonable amount of dry and quite warm weather uh, as well. We have high pressure there sitting very close to the country uh, with mean sea level pressure anomalies for the summer of 2019. Temperature anomalies, here we go again, much milder than average through most parts of uh, Northern Europe, the UK is included for April, May, June. We go through to the next tri-monthly period for um, May, June and July. 
That is also coming out with above average temperature anomalies by around half a degree to one degree or more above average. And then we go through to the final tri-monthly period. If anything, it looks quite hot, really, for the summer. Uh, we see those red colours appear across many parts of Europe. So we're talking about kind of like one to two degrees above average, really, through most parts of uh, Europe. The UK looks very warm as well. So quite a hot summer being forecast there by uh, DWD through most parts of Europe. Finally, precipitation-wise, this is how things are looking for April, May, June with uh, DWD. So wetter than average to our north, drier than average over and to the west-southwest of us. So obviously we've got the jet stream uh, going through there, and we've got the high pressure sitting uh, down here with low pressure kind of like up there. So you would expect quite a lot of dry weather, I would have thought, through April, May. Uh, and June, and then we go through into the uh, next trimester period, May, June, and July. Again, very, very weak signals. Scandinavia looking uh, quite unsettled, perhaps. Other parts of Europe, no real signal. Maybe a bit drier than average, close to the UK. And then finally, we go through to the last trimester period, which is for the summer of uh, 2018 or 2019 itself. And if anything, it's going drive an average for the UK and for Ireland. So this is shaving up, if DWD is right, this is shaving up to be quite a dry, warm, maybe even fairly hot summer being forecast there from the DWD. And I think the ECMWF is also hinting at the chance of quite a dry, anti-cyclonic, uh, potentially quite hot summer too. So this is looking quite an interesting update, actually, uh, for the summer. There's a lot... If you want a dry and warm hot summer, there is a lot to work on here from these models. I think um, Metro France does look a little bit more unsettled, although it's not particularly evident from its temperature and precipitation anomalies, but from its mean sea level pressure anomaly, I think Metro France is the most unsettled of these three models for the summer. But the other two, and particularly the DWD, Seems to be hinting at the chance of quite a hot and dry summer. We shall see. It's very early days, of course, to be thinking about the summer. But uh, we're going to do the first uh, seasonal model roundup for the summer of 2019 uh, a week on Saturday, or it would have been a week yesterday. So um, it'd be kind of like this coming Saturday. Uh, so what we can say with that is um, that we're going to get around 12, 13 long range bars together to see what they're all showing for the summer of uh, 2019. And uh, it'd be quite an interesting watch. Will these models, these three, uh, or two really, um, that are indicated chance for quite a hot and dry summer, will they be supported in that first season model round that you'll find out on Saturday? Right, we'll do it all over again uh, next month when we'll get uh, the Metro France, DWD and ECMWF uh, long range season models together, see what they're showing. That's going to take us through the rest of the summer into the, actually into the early part of the autumn at September. So I'll be with you next month. Don't forget to check out the um, analogues that, uh, for the summer that we've uh, released today. That video is on the homepage and will be placed on the summer updates uh, page later on with a written summary. It's looking at the cube, though. It's a very, very interesting watch indeed and uh, also we've got guys I've been sending around up on the homepage as well but uh, that's all for now and thanks so much for watching